That's right. The Jackson community is mourning the loss of Melvin McNair Jr. tonight, but Chief Wade hopes that the suspect in custody now is going to offer some kind of relief. I saw him downstairs myself as they brought him in. He still had the victim's blood on him. 19 year old Davion Lindsay was arrested Wednesday and brought into JPD for questioning, but didn't say a word as he was escorted to the van. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Any word for the family? However, according to Chief Joseph Wade, Lindsay admitted to shooting and killing 29 year old Melvin McNair Jr. during questioning. We anticipate that he is the shooter. He admitted to it. He admitted to doing it. There was no shame in his game. He admitted to shooting. Wade says the shooting took place overnight at Palm Bridges Park in Northeast Jackson, but McNair's body wasn't found until Wednesday morning by a JPD Park Ranger. I'm so glad that no child or no citizen found his body that we found it by doing what we're supposed to do and that's patrol these areas. People who visit the park regularly were shocked at the scene because they told us it's normally a safe area. When we got here, it was uh, blood in the parking lot and a bunch of cars. We're going to continue to pray and we hope that uh, this doesn't happen again. According to Wade, the suspect drug McNair out of the vehicle and took it, proceeding to ride around in the North Jackson area. He was captured Wednesday afternoon after he led police on a chase that ended in a crash on Ridgewood Road. You continue to put other people's lives in danger. I just know that the city of Jackson and Northeast Jackson is a safer place because he's in police custody. Chief Wade says when they recovered the vehicle, they found a pink assault rifle he says was the murder weapon along with the victim's credit cards. But even with the suspect in custody, charged with capital murder and carjacking, the investigation is far from over. We will be uh, deep diving into that to see if they knew each other, if they were acquaintances, what led both of them to that park at that particular time. But we know that Mr. McNair was a good person. I know that he was a good person because I knew him. I knew his father. McNair's father, Melvin McNair Sr., was shot, killed, and set on fire allegedly by a relative 11 months ago. Live here at JPD headquarters, Madeline Nolan, 16 WABT News.